the next morning. Hello there, I am Janko with my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last part, we took on the Mount Thunder Peak, I believe, and we beat Zapdos and rescued Shiftry. And Alex Sam's team showed up after we beat Zapdos and said that we had to, um... Well, we thought that Alex Sam didn't know everything, but he doesn't. And he doesn't know why Steven uh, became a human, I should say. And so he told us to go to the Hills of the Ancients since he's that too. So that's what we're going to do in this part. Stephen, good morning. Yesterday I did some checking around. It turns out that the Hill of the Ancients is actually is apparently in the, Grand Can in the Great Canyon. We should go there right away. Off to the Great Canyon. I was all shocked. Huh, what's the matter? Um... Um, I'm okay. It's nothing. Huh? What about- what were you, weren't you about to ask me something? What's the matter? Go on, say it. Um... Why do we try so hard? Well, I don't want to say any of these responses because like, why do we try so hard? And then like, why are you so happy? That kind of seems both mean. So why do we try so hard? I, I understand why he's happy. Why? What do you need to ask? Uh, it's, n it's not for you. It's for someone else. It's not for you, it's for someone else. Um, someone else, I guess. Someone else? Come on, what do you think I am? We're friends, aren't we, Steven? Yes, we are. I want to do my best because it's for you, Steven. Oh, that's that's a heartwarming moment right there. That's what this is all about. So, as always, let's try our best to do well. Interesting, cool. Uh, let's take out Magnemite from the friend zone again. Friend area, I should say. Visit. Let's take him and join the team. Join the team, yep, okay. And we can do our normal runs at, we can do our normal runs at, um, Pokemon Square. I accidentally clicked right there for a second and went away from the base for a second. Okay, so I think I have a full toolbox as I do, so I'm gonna just deposit some stuff. Hell, are there? King's Sun Storage, which I to store. Um, I can't store the USTM. I might just throw that away, but I kind of do want to keep it too, in case we can recycle it and reuse it. But I'm not sure how that works exactly, because I haven't played this game in a long time. Let's do um clear gummy pink gummy. I'm gonna take I'm gonna keep the power band apple one berry. I'm gonna put the one rocks blast seed pink gummy. Keep it on plain seed. I'll put that way. Big apple one berry. Craft rocks ten. I'm gonna bring a reviver seed for this next dungeon. Just one, just in case. But I'll, I'll, I'll store my other reviver seed. So let me see on the final check. Um, it's a full power band. Um, that should be good. It looks good. Okay. Thank you, Kingus Kong. Um, let's see here. Team. Give. Well, hold on. Summary. Hold on the cherry berry. And then Cody is holding what item? The orange berry. Um, I'm gonna give Cody the power band. Just cause. Yeah. I guess we can keep the orange berry just in case. Um. And mm, what else was I gonna do? Okay, I need to get the special. I know I picked up a special band in the last part, so I'm gonna get that too. Not store, not store, not store, not store. Take. There we go. Um, let's see here. Special band right here. Yes, it's right here. Take. Okay, thank you, King of Skong. That's all I need. And team, myself, give the special band. There we go. I'll, I'll store the cherry berry just real quick. Just cause, well I could keep it. I'm just gonna keep it in the bag just so I have it. Doesn't hurt I guess. Bye. Hmm. I don't need to buy anything from there. Let's see what's on the other calculator shop. What's the other guy selling? Just orbs? Okay, so I'm gonna, I can just store the rest of my pokey in the bank which is nice. Welcome to the C bank. I can't even pronounce that still. Okay, there we go, nice. Um, Gulp and Wing Shop, I don't need to go to. Let's talk to Lombre. Is that too? I wonder, I wouldn't know. There's really a Pokemon named that? <laughs> Is that too? It starts with an X, that's kind of cool. I want to check, the, I just asked you, I want to check the Makuhita Dojo in case some more mazes came up from the last time we. Okay, no, it's the same, just about one page. Okay, we beat them all, as I said before. That was a lot of good experience, too. <laughs> Other than that, I think we can head off to, um, 
Great, great canyon. So let's see. Check one more items. That's good. And we should be ready. So let's go to the Great Canyon and talk to Zatu, hopefully. Nice. Now the Great Canyon is 12 or 13 floors, I believe. I think Zatu's on the 13th floor. I could be wrong. There could be 13 floors and then Zatu, which I think actually there's 12 floors and then the 13th floor is Zatu. And I think about it. I'm like 65% sure of that. So yeah, let's get done. Um, this is the Great Canyon. Yeah. This is some great music too for this dungeon. I really like it. The peak is called the Hills of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hills of the Ancients is on the 13th floor. Okay, so I was right. 12 floors in the dungeon and the 13th floor is where Zatu's at. Zatu should be there. Yep, I know. And let's see let's do our best. Okay. Now, um, there's a lot of tough Pokemon in this dungeon, so keep- be aware of that. And, this is, this is, I'm talking to Magnemite, I didn't mean to, but yeah, it's cool. Um, what move should I set to? Dig? Nah. I'm gonna set Water Gun again. And then for Cody, I want him to use everything- well, I want him to use Scratch and Ember, actually. And then for- yeah, Magnemite's fine. I know this won't be super effective, but we can try. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Oh, I didn't do much at all. Oh, to, oh, let's try Tackle. There we go. Okay. Oh, another TM. Nice. What is this one? Facade. Ooh, that's a good TM. Yeah, at least I remember it was a good TM in like, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Facade. <laughs> Especially if you had a normal type Pokemon on your team, like a, um, like a Wismer, or actually at that time point, you're probably about like 100. Or Slacking. Oh, Slacking is a normal type, or Vertigrowth, whatever you had at the time. I'm rambling, so sorry. Um, let's use Water Gun on Spam it'll be super effective. <laughs> there we go. An Apple, nice. And, yeah, there we go. Ornberry. Another Gravel Rock. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just tackle on this thing, because Water Gun doesn't do much. It only does like 15 HP, which isn't a lot, you know? So there we go. Oh, another fan for you. Let's use Water Gun on it. There we go. Hopefully I can make it my way to the stairs. I'm gonna avoid that fan if I... There we go. I want to protect Magnemite, because that fan might have like Mud Slap or something, which is four times effective if, if in this game. The, um... Dang it! Magnemite, get back! Get back, Magnemite! <laughs> if, um... You know, Magnemite is steel and steel and um, electric in this um, in this game. I'm pretty sure he is. There's the stairs. So yeah. Ooh, that's a good place without the stairs right now. Awesome. Check out the skip. Oh, nice. That metal sound and that thunder shock. Man. Don't spice. Let's use water gun. I meant to use water gun. There we go. So, I, it took me, I, I was thinking about this for a long time, and it took me to the 12th part of this walk the guide to finally, f you know, just decide that I want to add music to these dungeons when, and so that I want to speed up the video and add music to them, because all these floors on all these dungeons are randomized, they're always different pretty much every time, every playthrough almost, I'm pretty sure the pretty much all different really actually in that case but i want to add music and speed up the video and if you wait if you're idle there for a long time i'll just pop up this menu like a pause menu kind of thing automatically which is nice um but as i was saying i want to add music to these dungeons and speed up the video just like i did in my old playthrough of this game back in like 2010 when i did this game like camcorder vision not on anime video with recording with obs studio but yeah I mean, I just feel like it'll go by so much faster and you won't you won't just see me just piddle around in a dungeon trying to find the stairs. So like, up to this point, all the other parts will have text or voice saying music time when I start the music and I'll start the music, speed up the video for the remainder of the dungeon until like we get to the next cutscene and add music to it. I'm gonna just say music time right now and I'm just gonna say it for this, from here on out, I will be adding music to these dungeons and speeding them up just so they go by faster. I won't skip any cutscenes or speed them up, but just the 
getting to the next cutscene that's important. So with that said, hopefully that was clear. Basically, I'm adding music and speeding up the um, unnecessary parts. And so, I leave you guys with this one thing that I'm going to say. Music time. Nice. Okay, right here, we made it to the 13th floor basically, and if you saw, um, I, uh, myself, I leveled up and I learned Bite, and I got rid of Tackle, and then also, uh, I think Magnemite also leveled up, he did level up, um, and he learned Sonic Boom, I got rid of Tackle, um, on Magnemite 2, to wait for him to learn Sonic Boom. Anyway, when you reach the 13th floor, here you are, nice, we made it, we made it, we made it. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Steven. By the way, like the, around the 9th, 10th, and 11th floor, something like that, around that area, I was getting really lucky where I'd spawn next to the stairs. That was really nice, too. Yes, Steven, we've finally made it to the top, Steven. Oh, I thought, oh, man, I said that twice for my name, said twice. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Steven. There we go. Looking around, this is the Hills of the Ancients. Look over there. It's a bird, it's playing, it's Superman. I'm just kidding, it's that, too. Hehehe. <laughs> Steven, is that Zatu over there? Yes, it is. Zatu, Zatu, Zatu. Excuse me. Are you maybe Zatu? Hello? Maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello? What's going on? Why isn't he responding? Hello? That's odd. It's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet. Steven, what should we do? Now, I think attacking him would be mean, so let's tickle him. Huh? Tickle him? Okay, it's worth a try. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yeah, that's a lot of tickles. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Gasp. Look at that face on Cody. Cody's like, gasp. <laughs> it's no good, Steven. He's not responding. Snort. Huh? Snort. Giggle. Bruh. I don't even say- I don't think I read that right, actually. He's finally laughing now. Is he just dense? Yeah. And look, if you saw there, Magnemite got shocked, too. When he said, Qua! Or whatever, yikes. Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I am Zatu. You. You. Discerned my true identity. I don't even know if I said that right. You are not an ordinary sort. And also, Magnemite sweated a drop too. I sweated a little bit too. Guess your identity? Guess your identity? That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are human, yes? And Magnemite's also shocked with us. Huh? How can you tell that? 
All day I stare at the sun unblinkingly. It gives me sight for all things. The past and the future too. I know, please tell us that too. Next to me is my friend Steven. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon and without any memory as a human. And without any memory of as being a human or whatever. Uh, Yatsu, can you tell? You can tell, can't you? Please tell us. The calamities of nature, I think I said that right, there have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset and you're becoming a Pokemon. Th they are tied together imperably, inseparably so. I think I said that right. Wait, Steven became a Pokemon and the natural disasters are related? What do you mean? What does Steven have to do with the nat- What does Steven have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? He's all angry now. What? Why did you come? Claim up? Why did you claim up? Please tell us, please. There are bigger concerns. I'm a, I'm afraid the world's balance it must be restored, or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Well, shock it again, huh? You're serious. The world, the unthinkably, the unthinkable is coming. Every day I see it. The same future every day. I dread it. Zat Zatu, I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction. Interesting. Oh look, we haven't seen him in a while. It's Gengar. Can't can't can't. Isn't that a surprise that Steven was human? Th that's going to be useful. This should be interesting. Can't, can't. Of course. He always has to poke his nose in our business. Yeah, the team the rescue team members get back to their base. Yep. So yeah, I want to save. So yeah, this has been Jacko again. Oh, well, this has been the, my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Walk the Guide part, and the next part will take on, hopefully, the next uh, event. I don't know exactly what it is, but it might be some, have to do with something with what Gengar saw. What is he planning? So this has been Jacko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and appreciate you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Walk the Guide. In the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Walk the Guide.